and open this celebration of silent transformations, I'd like to introduce Professor Bertel Anderson. There is, of course, no need to introduce Professor Bertel Anderson to you. But within the context of this conference, I would like to stress that he is one of the greatest transformers that I know. And as you may be aware, he does not do so silently. <laughs> Yet, I think the effects of some of the transformations he initiated and pushed at NTU will need time to become visible. And I'm sure they will in a more creative and stronger Singapore, as they already are in a more stimulating and vibrant intellectual climate in NTU. Bertel created the intellectual space, the freedom, and the stimulus that incubated transformations like the complexity program and enabled complexity, the Complexity Institute and Paralinas to be launched and conferences like this to be organized. He not so much triggered silent transformations as that he directed evolution. So please give a warm welcome to Pe Professor Anderson, who made it all possible. Thank you, Jan, and uh, good morning, uh, and uh, welcome. So, distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, ladies, and gentlemen, welcome to Singapore, and welcome to the fifth annual uh, complexity conference organized by Nanyang Technological University at NTU, and, of course, Paralelis <coughs> Beyond Borders. Uh, I think the theme, as we have heard it being explained by Jan here, <coughs> is rather intriguing. Silent transformations. It's definitely don't refer to the Big Bang or the creation of our galaxy, or that was also a transformation, I guess. And uh, Jan alluded to it, you actually do not notice the changes until you look back. For example, when you look in the mirror every morning, you do not see your gray hair or hair being lost and, uh, or wrinkles formed on your face. But when you compare your present look uh, with a picture of yourself, say, 20 years ago, you see that there have been some differences. And also on the technology side, I have a Nokia telephone here. And my secretary has started to say, what is this, she said. You know? I thought the Nokia telephones were quite good, but obviously they are not good anymore, you know. When did this happen? It must also be in a silent transformation, right? So that's why that I would say that information technology also changes us. On a day-to-day -day basis, these changes are small, inconspicuous, and imperceptible. But over the last 30 years or so, information technologies have fundamentally changed the way we communicate, how we move, think, socialize, and even do science. In fact, science and scientific approaches went through silent transformation that is more fundamental than many of us actually realize. Uh, an instrumental person, if I may do a special tribute here, behind these changes was Professor John Holland who sadly passed away last year at the age of 86 was. John was a renowned professor of psychology, electrical engineering, and computer science. Actually very modest and unassuming person, yet with a significant impact on science beyond the disciplinary boundaries and, boundaries and details. His pioneering work on genetic algorithms, as well as on classifier systems and complex adaptive systems, fundamentally changed the, the, the fields of artificial intelligence and evolutionary computing. His work has as great implications for a wide range of disciplines from psychology, economics, and linguistics to neuroscience and cogniz cognition, just to mention a few. We all miss John, who was closely associated with NTU, a place where he found a good fit for his pioneering spirit and naturally curious and interdisciplinary mind. He was also one of the founders of uh, uh, Paralimus, the predecessor, predecessor Paralimus that actually was born in Europe and then it moved to, to, to Singapore. And also, John Holland was very instrumental in making. Uh, Paralimus and the concept of Paralimus 
fly here at NTU in Singapore. John was also a great supporter of risky and exploratory research and had an inexhaustible flow of uh, original new ideas. He once remarked, I have more ideas than I can ever follow up in a lifetime, so I don't worry if someone steals some of my ideas. And I think that's a nice attitude. In recognition of his contributions to NTU and to science, NTU and its alma mater, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, are in the process of establishing a sabbatical chair in John's honor and memory. The position will be granted yearly to an outstanding scientist in the broad fields of complexity science who, like John, was able to inspire students and faculty alike in a, new, a unique way of approaching science. Okay, so our complexity conference are now into its fifth edition this year. Behind me, you have all the history of it, but you don't see the history because I'm, I'm covering it. But this is the fifth edition. There have been many fantastic conferences meanwhile. And these have brought together world-class scientists, thinkers, philosophers, artists, and people of practice, all with different disciplinary background, pers pers perspectives, and foci of interest to present on a broad theme of complexity. The first conference was called More is Different, which is a concept that is worth thinking about. Think about it. More is different. I like that. One example of this collaboration between NTU, uh, no, yeah, uh, so all these conferences speakers have had ample time to make their point and to discuss and exchange ideas. That's the basic philosophy. <coughs> For this conference, as John said, young scientists are actively involved and most of them are chairing conference sessions for the first time. And the format of such conference are aligned to a big part of what universities are about in the first place, to stimulate intellectual discourse and create a setting where limits can be tested and even crossed. Also, these complexity conferences help to enrich the intellectual climate at NTU and Singapore and promote the university as a place where the best minds can meet. They also fertile ground for originating and growing new interdisciplinary uh, matters. One example uh, is the collaboration between the NTU School of Art, Design and Media and the complexity science in the area of heritage this is a result of a discussion that started during the first complexity conference in 2012. It has since led to several research projects and four conferences, one of which was the Maritime Heritage sponsored by the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore. And I guess when we started this complexity, we never thought that the Port and Maritime Authority would be one of our sponsors, but I think that is good that things are unpredictable. <coughs> so. That, of course, raises the question where the future will lead us. We don't know, and I think that's good. Uh, but our work, the intellectual changes we face, and the silent transformation that we do not see will get us there in the end. So let's get rolling. So I wish you a good conference filled with good intellectual debate and plenty of inspiration. Most important, most important have fun. Enjoy the conference, enjoy the discussions, enjoy NTU, enjoy yourselves, and thank you very much.